Hello, Cancer. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, Free Speaks Guidance. Today I'll be doing your weekly love reading. It's a general reading, not going to resonate with every Cancer out there. Definitely take what does resonate and leave the rest behind. Also, keep in mind, Cancer, that energy is fluid. So, whenever you're guided to the message, is exactly when you're meant to see it, and there is no gender in tarot. So take the roles and reverse them as need be. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you're an existing subscriber, welcome back. I appreciate all of you, all the love and support you show me. Cancer, I'll be doing an extended to this reading. If you're interested in the extended, there will be a link in the description box below. At the end of the video, I'll take a sneak peek into the extended to show you guys what the extended does reveal. Let's hop into this and see what's next for your love life. Cancer. Messages for cancer regarding love. Cancer. Someone's dealing with an Aquarius. We also have Gemini here too. Cancers in love. What does cancer need to know? So up underneath everything, seven of cups, you do have an option at this point is what I see here. Either you can take the person that you're currently dealing with or there are more options that are opening up for you is what I see. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I do feel like some of you guys have turned your back on the past. You've opened up your mind to explore new dating options. Some of you guys have made a decision to get on some dating websites, maybe even go to a matchmaker is what I feel here. You're changing the way you go toward finding new people is what I see. With this two of swords here, Cancer, what I feel is I do feel there is true love coming towards you that you don't see. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. The person is coming towards you. We have Aries energy here. This is somebody that lo looks like they're looking for long term. This is somebody that looks like they're looking for marriage. For some of you, not all of you, this is the same person. This is somebody from your past that's coming back and wanting something more solid with you. If it is not someone from this lifetime, it does definitely look like somebody that you're familiar with, someone that you know, somebody that has been holding back their true feelings for you. I do feel like this person is ready to open up and come in and at least ask you out on a date. With this, these flowers here, this is a dating opportunity for you guys. What I see in your energy when it comes to your love life cancer, I do feel like a lot of you guys are in this energy of where you're healing with this four of swords and you're holding back. You're healing and you're holding back. You're not 100% healed with this 10 of wands. Some of you guys have got back in this dating field and you're getting back in here and you're carrying the past in this dating field with you. I honestly don't feel like you've completely let go of somebody with this lover's card because this is the energy of still having love for somebody from your past. This could be a Gemini is what I see. Yes, I do see you moving toward a committed relationship, but I also see the past stringing along with you too. With this five of wands, so the direction you're moving in when it comes to love, there's chaos and confusion in that direction because you still have the past here still holding on to you. Either you're holding on to the past or the past is holding on to you. Yes, you're opening up your dating options. Yes, you're going on multiple dates or will be going on multiple dates. But as soon as you start to move on, then your past will return and trying to reconcile with you is what I see here. I do feel like a lot of you guys are dealing with somebody that refuses to give up. You could be married to this particular individual. This person could be married to someone else, but this is an individual who is refusing to take no for an answer. This is an individual who is refusing to let go of you. This person feels this level of entitlement when it comes to you. Gemini, Aries energy here. This is an individual here who, I, as I stated, I feel like you're trying to move on, but I also feel like this person will not let go of you. If this is somebody you have kids by and they're helping you out, they're paying some form of child support, 
that gives this person that makes this person feel like they still own you it's the energy of cancer is mine they feel like they have some type of leverage or ownership over you is what i see here in this person's environment that's coming towards you this is somebody that looks like they potentially started drinking but they're upset they're highly upset and they are feeling like they've been betrayed. They're feeling like they've been betrayed because they stalk you. This is somebody that stalks you. This is an emotional lunatic that you're dealing with at this point in time. You're dealing with somebody that's losing their mind. And you're dealing with somebody that's losing their mind because you're making a decision to turn your back and open up dating options to someone else. Some of you guys look like you're going through a divorce or a legal separation. If that is the case with this particular person, this person is going to fight tooth and nail to hold on to this connection. This is somebody that's not going to let go easy of this connection. This person here that feels entitled to you, they'll pull back. They'll stop taking care of the kids. They'll do whatever they have to do in order to hold you back, in order to keep you holding on to this burden. What I see in your future when it comes to love a lot of you guys are going to get mad and start to fight back. I feel like you're going to start fighting this person back. I feel like you're going to get tired of this person trying to control you. At this point in time, you don't even want to hear it. You're like, let go of me. I don't want you anymore. I'm ready to be single. I want to be single. I want to be free. I want to meet the person that is for me. So I do feel this energy of you trying to get away from somebody and I feel like whoever this particular person is, you're fighting. I mean, you're like really fighting to let, forget this person to let go of you. This person is refusing to do so. They're doing everything in their power to block you from moving on. Cancer. Messages for cancer. How does cancer view this particular person? How does cancer view this person that's trying to hold them back? How does cancer view them? Queen of Wands. The King of Cups and the Five of Wands, you know what they're doing. You, look at this. You know, you view this as somebody that's pissed off because you're looking good, you're feeling good, you're sitting in your power, and now here they come. Now they want to act like they're so in love with you. But when they had an opportunity, that's when that's exactly what they didn't do. So you view this person as somebody that's angry. You view this person as somebody that's upset, somebody that's deliberately trying to hold you back. How do they view cancer? How do they view cancer? So you know they're mad. You know they're extreme. They feel like you're betraying them. This is somebody that feels like they're being betrayed by you. Knight of Pentacles. This is somebody that feels like you're slipping away. They feel like they're being ignored by you and they feel like they're being betrayed by you. Yeah, this person feels like you're moving on and betraying them. So by you moving on, by you making a decision to end this and rebuild your life somewhere else, this is somebody that feels betrayed by you. Cancer. How does cancer feel about reconnecting with this person? Knight of Cups, you feel like this person owes you an apology. So this is somebody, I feel like you still got emotions. There's too many cups out here. You feel like this is somebody that owes you some type of an apology. And some of you guys, honestly, if this person does apologize to you, I do feel like you'll go back to this particular person. Seven of Swords and the Fool card. Some of you guys are pulling away in order to try to make this person jealous. How do they feel about reconnect? Because this energy is showing that you will reconnect if this person does a whole lot of changes. So I do feel like some of you guys are deliberately trying to piss this person off. And that's exactly what you're doing. You're getting out here. You made these changes to yourself. You're looking good, feeling good, probably trying to make this person jealous posting pictures on social media and now you got this person where they want to cut you now you got this person where they want to cuss you out you got this person pissed off at you and i feel like you're trying to make this person pissed off at you is what i see here what this person wants the way they feel about working it out they feel like it's still salvageable they feel like you guys can rebuild it but this is somebody that's mad as hell at you at this point in time 
a lot of anger and aggression because they feel like they're being betrayed by you. What you want out of this connection with this particular person, you want this person to focus on you. Yeah, you trying to make this person jealous. This is what you're doing. Ah, you're doing it deliberately. And some of y'all are dating multiple people in order to try to do that. Oh, five of pentacles. You want this person to feel like you're leaving them out in the cold, but you're really not leaving them out in the cold. You're watching to see what they're going to do. You want this person to see you out with your friends having a good time. It's what I see with this particular person. Because I feel like some of y'all want this person to come in begging for forgiveness from you. Cancer. Mm. And they may be at this point in time, they so upset and don't know what to do. It looks like you got somebody out here trying to cast love spells on you. Yeah, you y'all, this is getting all the way out of hand. Because whoever this particular person is that you're dealing with, they're so upset with you because it has ended and they didn't think it was going to end. They out here trying to cast some type of love spells on you. Look at this. You got somebody out here trying to cast spells on you to get you back. Talking to people. Getting readings on you. Going to see people. Seeing somebody can voodoo you. You got somebody out here doing all type of shit to get you back. And you out here playing, trying to piss this person off. And this person out here, they on some whole nother type of level dealing with you. Look at this. This is somebody that will not stop. This is somebody that will do anything in order to get back with you. They taking it all the way in order to keep you in their energy, to keep you trapped. So you out here trying to make them jealous. You trying to make them chase you. I don't know if you're doing the best thing. It's what I see. Because when it's all said and done, the way these cards are coming out, and this ain't everybody reading. If it's not your reading, it's just not your reading. But this particular cancer right here is trying to, to make this person change. And you're trying to make this person change from the way they treated you. If they didn't marry you in the past, you want marriage from this person. You want this person to hold on to this connection. You want this person to hold on to you. Even if you move on to somebody else, you want this person to regret what they did to you is what I see here. So what you're doing is you're ghosting this person partially, not all the way, because you're sitting back waiting on what this person will do next. It's the energy of wanting this person to come in and beg you to please you to do whatever it is you want to do. You really, you really playing big mind games with this particular person. I do feel like a lot of you guys want this person begging. You'll take the apology. You will take this apology, but it's going to be a long time. You're going to make a multi, you're going to make them apologize multiple times before you accept one apology from this particular person. As I stated, look how you're trying to call this person in and you're trying to call this person in by making this person jealous. And what you, and you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you're pissing this person off to a whole nother level. And that's exactly what's going on. Because whatever you're doing or whatever you got them thinking that you're doing, they're beginning to feel like you're betraying them. And they do not like being betrayed by you. So this is somebody that's out here trying to cast any type of spell on you in order to get back with you. This is somebody that's highly pissed off, a certified lunatic. You turn this person into a crazy person. With this star card, they'll do anything to get your attention. They'll do anything to keep you trapped. Aquarius and Taurus energy here too. So you got somebody here that wants to serve karma on you, but they want to get you back at the same time. This per this person is not just to let go of this connection. Scorpio energy in their heart, they feel like you guys can rebuild, like you can fix this. This person knows you're not completely moved on. They know you're trying to move on, but they don't know the real game that you're playing. What you're doing is you're trying to drive them insane. And that's what you're, and that's exactly what's going on. Cancer. Messages for cancer. This is a game that can lead to something more serious than just chess. Cancer. 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 See here? There's no way I can make this up. This is a game that can go 
real bad, real quick, is what I see. So if this is you playing this game with this person in order to piss this person off, you may want to rethink this because this person mind is on something else. Because this is somebody that's fantasizing about you being with somebody else and the thought of somebody touching you is pissing this person off. Let's take a sneak peek into the extended to see how this is going to play out with the two of you. There will also be a separate singles reading in the extended because this is definitely a relationship reading. Cancer. If you're interested in the extended, the link will be in the description box below. Cancer. Cancer. The thing about energy, regardless if I do a singles read, whatever comes out in the cards is what's going to go on. So if you're single and you're dating, it's going to be the same type of energy. You're fixing to start dating somebody with anger issues. The person you meet will have anger issues and they'll start fighting with you because that's the type of energy this person is. This is somebody that's got big anger issues, don't want to see you with nobody else. You will stop taking this person's calls. That'll piss this person off and make this person want to do something to you because that's what's going on. Is this person in love with cancer? What's this person's intentions if cancer give them another chance? Do they miss cancer? Do they regret what they did to cancer? Will they apologize and it be sincere? Can they be trusted? If they was dealing with a third party, are they still dealing with a third party? Is this person in love with someone else? Is someone in love with this person? Is this person having sex with other people? If so, how will those connections play out? What are they hiding from cancer? Is this cancer soulmate, twin flame, or a karmic lesson? And will this lead to a committed relationship in the future for cancer in this person? Cancer in the extended, we're going to flip these cards out over and see how this is going to work out for the two of you be careful with this energy because this is somebody that's highly highly upset with you the link is in the description box below to purchase the extended if this is where we depart remember to like subscribe and share i'm sending love and light your way namaste